Hey guys, it's Chris here, and today we're going to be unboxing the HTC One M8. So this phone was purchased in Taiwan, and it happens to be the red version. You can only get this in the US through Verizon, and this is an unlocked HTC One M8, so it does not have a Verizon or AT&T logo on the back of the phone. A pretty nice phone. The international versions have better specs than the US version. It has a Snapdragon 2.5 GHz quad-core CPU. 16 gigabytes of memory and 2 gigabytes of RAM. You can also add a micro SD card up to 128 gigs just for expansion. Now this is my brother's phone but coming from an iPhone there's big difference in size. The HTC One M8 has a 5.2 inch screen so it's much larger than the iPhone 5, 5S and 6. A little bit smaller than the iPhone 6 Plus with the 5.5 inch screen. So surprisingly out of the box, the international version provides you with a TPU case which actually fits really well and looks nice on the phone. Uh, it has some other literature with your SIM card removal, but we'll move on and get to the charger. So here's the charger itself along with the charging cable as well as a set of in-ear monitors branded with the HTC logo. You get a set of three tips of different sizes, small, medium, and large, and I have yet to try them, but they look pretty nice. Placing the two phones against each other, they are pretty thin. Uh, I feel like the HTC M8 is about the same thickness as the iPhone 5. And taking off the phone wrap, it feels great in your hands. The size isn't too big, um, but I did find that when using it, I couldn't use it with one hand specifically. My thumb was just too short to reach the whole screen. The red finish looks great. It pops out from the rest of the phones on the market and because of its rarity, it's just awesome. Well, just a quick spec run up from what I liked about using the phone. The screen is beautiful. Watching music videos on the phone is terrific. Uh, the screen just looks fine as heck. It's a 1080p resolution screen and what made it better was the sound quality. The M8 has speakers in the front of the screen so it's directed towards your face rather than most phones that are directed away from you. It's a 1080 resolution screen, way better than the iPhone 5, and these curved back fits really nice in the hands. This phone doesn't have too many external buttons, so on the right side you have your SIM card tray where you put in your SIM for telephone use. To the left you have your micro SD card tray, and this is where you can put your up to 128 gigs of memory inside. The home, back, and menu buttons are touch capacitive on the screen, so you don't have dedicated buttons for it, and the camera has a dual tone flash, along with two cameras for 3D filming, and this also allows for better focus, which accounts for clearer pictures. The bottom and top of the phone don't have much. You have your charging port, which is a mini USB, and you also have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And the top you have a power button as well as a black bar. And this black bar is a infrared sensor used for IR. So this is something you could use for like your TV as a remote. Anyways, that was a quick overview and unboxing of the HTC One M8. This is the red version, it looks great. First impressions, the phone is actually pretty nice. It's a bit big for my liking, but I think it's something I have to get used to. Phones nowadays are becoming phablets, especially now that Apple is catching on to the trend. And I'm willing to follow the trend, because the screen looks great. The big screen is really nice when watching YouTube videos, especially when you're watching media and playing any sort of games. You just have more real estate. Well, that's been Chris with Get This Year 101. Thank you guys for watching. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a dislike. And let me know why. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe for future content. Bye, guys.